I'm sure he does. Here you go, Hal. Thank you very much. I have some good news. I'm going to be very brief. Um, before I talk about the uh, why we need to stop the Federal Constitutional Convention, I want to make a, a great plug for a camp program called Camp Constitution, which is in Ringe, New Hampshire. Uh, we have brochures over the table. I think uh, Amy's son went uh, this year, and my son and my family. It's a wonderful program. Our goal is not just to teach people the Constitution, but to create activists. Okay. Believe it or not, folks, we have enemies of the Constitution. Some of them are ignorant, and many of them are deliberate. One such enemy is a man named James McGregor Burns. Probably don't know him. In the mid-80s, he wrote a book called The Power to Lead. They love the word power. Professor from Williams College, and he was connected to a new, several different groups, Committee on a Constitutional System, Project 87. And this is what they, he said. Our founders, our founding fathers, were too smart for us. He said that they gave us checks and balances. And he said, we have to make right what they put asunder. This is the worldview that these folks have. That limited government under the Constitution is wrong. And what the, he proposed is a federal constitutional convention. But our enemies are very clever. They know that they couldn't mobilize their folks. They had to get people in the conservative type camps to promote it. And they've used things like balanced budget amendments and other things as a way to deceive us and to trick us into this. Well, back in, in the uh, late to mid, uh, late, mid to late 80s, we were two states away from a federal convention. Our constitution was on the chopping block, folks. And it was organizations like ours, the John Birch Society, that stopped it. Simply by educating the elected officials in every state. And it works. It's, it's hard work, but it does work, folks. And in 95, they tried it again. It was called Conference of the States. Even, and the front man for this was Governor Levin of Utah. And he failed. And in May, it was a great victory. We won it without even having to get into the ring. It was wonderful. But then we realized that there are calls that go back to 1790. A call for a convention never dies. And we've got three calls in Maine that need to be repealed. And we have to stop any calls, any new calls. And an organization calling itself 1010amendments.org, not the other group. There's a lot of good groups called 10 Amendments, 10th Amendments. They say we are going to make history in January. We have 50 state legislators lined up in 50 states to push this. We need to push back. We need to make history. And this is a call to action. At our table, wave your hand there, uh, Don. We have a DVD and CDs entitled Beware of an Article 5. This is Article 5 under the U.S. Constitution. This is a, this is a constitutional move they have. But do you really want to see the folks that run this state capitol sending delegates to rewrite the Constitution? No. I don't think so. I live, in, I live in Boston, folks. I don't want Deval Patrick sending delegates to any convention. And they will. And they're not going to be like the James Madisons and the George Washingtons. They're going to be the Obama types. Believe me. I have a reprint, and i got plenty of them here. It's called uh, Dangers of a Constitutional, Constitutional Convention. Please take three copies, or at least three. One for yourself, one for your state rep, and one for your state senator, and even those that are running for office. Uh, we have this in very a PDF format on the Camp Constitution website, campconstitution.net or .us. And we also have many other important historical documents about this. We need to stop it. And we will stop it. We got to repeal the New Hampshire after 22 years. And believe it or not, it was a Democrat House and Senate. The rhinos wanted nothing to do with this. They loved the idea. We have to rewrite the Constitution. It was constitutionalists and some Democrats, believe it or not. Tennessee just rescinded their call. So we can make it happen. So please, if you want to help us, we're going to set a date in early January when they're back in session. We're going to go there. We're going to start educating them. And we're going to win this. We're going to save our Constitution. And let me say this in closing. I was, at a, I was at a function not too long ago, and there was a lady who said, this is not going to happen in my lifetime. Well, I believe that we are not ready to get back under the Constitution as it was originally intended. But we're going to be ready. We're ready, but the average American isn't. And I said, I have a, my, what's my boy? He's 13 years old, Nathaniel. 
he's my, uh, here he is, he's my cameraman, he, he's a great young man. I said, our job is to prepare the future. This generation is going to lead us back under the Constitution. And if they don't, they're going to be a hated and despised minority in the land of their, in a third world country. But I'm con convinced that we're going to restore this great country, and this generation is going to take us back under the Constitution. Thank you.